guys welcome back to the channel um so i did promise after my 15 minute arm workout that i would follow up with a 15 minute shoulder workout so just punching through with these shorter sort of real-time workouts just so you can then create either your own longer workout or you can just fit this into a break you've got in the day so yeah shoulders today it, it, it's non-stop again 50 seconds on 10 seconds off you just need something to lean on um back of a chair back of the sofa and your band and that is literally it to be fair so grab your equipment let's get started anything else you want to see in terms of workouts please fire a comment at me even if you just put a comment and say love this workout it would really help just to get something going in the comments uh to make this video look a bit more popular to youtube that's what we want right let's get on with it and uh enjoy okay guys here we go your 15 minute shoulder workout so again 15 rounds 50 seconds on 10 seconds between exercises for me to explain what's coming next okay so as quick as possible uh right some of the middle section is single arm exercise so we'll do one then the other okay so it doesn't really matter which one you do first because uh, we're going to do them one after the other apart from that nothing really else to tell you make sure you've got your band if you do have light hand weights and you, and you have them nearby we might need them at the end uh, but that's optional something to lean on uh, make sure you've got your towel it's absolutely boiling again obviously i've got the window open so apologies because someone is doing some sort of cutting of trees down low or like, i don't know what the noise is anyway it's hot so i've got the window open right let's get started grab your band okay you know the drill with the bells i'll let you hear just in case so that ding 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 is when i'm going to tell you the next exercise then you know the next one is a buzzer and that's to tell you that the round officially starts so that's that one okay so that tells you that the round officially started it's a guide you go when you're ready and take a break when you're ready it's really warm so take the break when you need and grab a drink let's do it right let's restart that timer and make a start okay guys first one just to get those shoulders warmed is pull apart so take your band and literally just pulling wide at about chest level there we go that's the bell you were looking for so pulling wide bring it back in always keeping at about chest height okay you don't have to stand for this you can sit kneel whatever you're just getting those shoulders warmed up okay 30 seconds left then we're just going to dump the band and we're going to go down to your mat or to the floor or to a towel or whatever you've got and we're going to go into a walk out to a walk up so you've probably seen me do them plenty of times standing position walk out walk up onto the hands back to the elbows 10 seconds left on this you should be feeling some heat now between those shoulder blades five seconds and then bob your band down there we go okay set yourself up under your mat hands down walk out to a plank down to the elbows up to the hands walk up there we go hands down walk out down to the elbows back up to the hands walk up and just literally repeat that try and keep as i always say try and keep the legs straight and when you get to the plank elbows go where your hands were and then hands go where your elbows were just to keep that position okay and just keep the feet hands down walk out elbows where hands were hands where elbows were so that's that yeah, full plank. Walk in. 15 seconds left. And then we're going to stay on the floor, but grab your band. A bit more mobility for the shoulders coming up next. Five seconds. Okay. Band round your feet. And all we're going to do, laying a, a front raise all the way overhead. So, straight arms all the way, touch the knuckles on the floor, bring it back. So it's full range, getting those shoulders working. Again, with all these band exercises, remember, if it's not hard enough, you just grab the band further down. Overhead. And if you have a band with handles, you just hold the handles, exactly the same. 
little tiny needle you know, called, you ever model for me? all the way down to the side of your body, you know how all the way up, not to touch the floor. Hey. Just keep that rolling, you've only got 10 seconds left, but then we're going to stay in this yeah, position because we've got a laying shoulder press. So just stay where you are with your band and we'll turn this into a shoulder press. Okay, so chest high, literally pushing above the crown of the head, bring it back to chest. Push above, touch the knuckles to the floor, back to chest. There we go. So always coming back to chest, touch the knuckles, come back. You can also, and we will be doing this standing at the end of the routine, but what I love about this laying one is, you're making sure you're getting fully above the crown of the head by touching the knuckles to the floor. So you're getting that lovely full range movement that sometimes you don't get when you're standing because you tend to not know whether your hands are fully above the crown of your head. And often people tend to push forward rather than up. So we want to get the back muscles involved. Okay guys, 10 seconds again. And then we're on our feet again. Keep holding your band though. Do you want to know what it is? There we go. Okay, upright rows. Stand on your band. Grab a little bit further down. Upright row. Okay, so literally, with this exercise, guys, try and leave with your shoulders, with your elbows, sorry. Leave with your elbows and don't think about the hands. Forget about what the hands are doing. As long as they're holding the band, they will be coming with you, don't worry. But what I tend to see too much is people pulling with the hand. Think about where your elbows are going and let, let, let the elbows lead the way. You get a much better form on this exercise if you think about what the elbows are doing. Keep them directly to the sides of your body and pull the elbows up till you get about shoulder height. The hand will then naturally be about chest level and then down. 15 seconds left. And then we're going into a round of single arm exercises. So we'll start with the right and then do the left. Good. External rotation. So wrap the band around the, the left hand, put it against the wall, elbow tucked in, rotate out. Rotate out. So you can see I've got my elbow tucked, rotate. I'll show you from the front. I'll hold onto the chair. Elbow tucked in, rotate. It doesn't really matter where you anchor your hand on the left, as long as it's anchored and it's still, you can hold it out mid-air, to be fair. You don't need, really need a wall or a sofa or a chair. Rotate, just keep, don't let this happen. Don't let this elbow wander away. Keep it tucked, if you're struggling, just let some band out. Make it that's a little bit easier. Easy enough, it's not hard enough. Drop further down. You can definitely feel this working. This is a fabulous rotator cuff exercise, especially if you struggle with some shoulder problems. All we're going to do on the bell is change sides. Okay, so wrap around the other hand, and then literally off we go again, left down. See from the back, my elbow's tucked. Right hand landed onto something, wall, back of the chair. But the important thing is again, elbow, lock it into the ribs. And my palm's facing up, I'm almost leading with the thumb. It doesn't matter if you can't get all the way out, you can only get to here, it's still working the shoulder. Don't feel like to get all the way back here, you've got to bring the elbow off, because then you're not working the correct muscles. The important thing is to keep that elbow tucked in tight. Rotate, and rotate. Everybody's shoulders have a completely different range. So don't worry if you can't get as much range as me, or maybe you can get more. That's very possible. Five seconds left, then we'll move into a lateral raise. Ooh. Okay, for this one, I want you to hold the band with your left hand behind. Behind your back like such, and then the other hand, literally take your band, lateral raise. With this one, I want you to make sure you're leading with the middle knuckle. The middle, middle knuckle is leading the way. Keep the arm relatively straight. Softness in the elbow is fine, but we're not here. We're not bending, we've got the arm relatively straight. And again, if you are finding that too easy, pull some bone through at the back and go again. If you're struggling to get full range, just keep the arm straight. Just let some bone through. 
the great thing about these bands, you can literally adjust as you go. No difficulty, no pin moving, no slipping weight. Dead easy. Should be feeling a burn on that shoulder right about now. And we're going to do when you hear the bell, you change sides. Keep that arm to the side of you. Brilliant. So just swapping over, dead easy. Hold it, oh, that shoulder's killing. Okay, remember, lead with that middle knuckle. Hold it behind, off we go again. So again, keeping the arm relatively straight, lead with the middle top knuckle towards the ceiling. Just lifting to about shoulder height is enough. Shoulder height, you know squeeze the back of that rear deltoid every time. <laughs> Bring the arm out. And again, the arm yeah, is relatively baby. straight. Yeah. There is a softness in the elbow, but we're not bending. It's not a tricep exercise. We're not moving the elbow joint about. It's staying constant. Nearly time to change. Okay, same again. So get your anchor point. Set your arm fairly straight, but slight softness. Slightly forward, only slight. But think about now, this is the back of the shoulder I'm working. Put your mind in that muscle. It makes a massive difference if you actually focus on the muscle that's working. It really does. Squeeze. Squeeze, and again, too easy. Grab that band closer to the anchor point. Too hard, maybe let a little bit out. Oh man, that is starting to burn. How long have we got left? 15 seconds. And then we're staying standing and moving into a front raise with a wide high pull down. Okay, so combining two exercises. It is all Well done, well done, right. On to your band. All we're gonna do is a front raise and then a pull down. So raise to the front and pull down, back up, lower. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. This is actually tougher than it looks. Up, out, in, down. We're getting there though. Would you believe this is exercise number 12 or 15. So we're getting there. 20 seconds left. Just relax those shoulders. They might want to start to ride up. So just relax and go again. There's a temptation for shoulders to start to ride up around your ears. Five seconds. Ooh, well done. Simple shoulder press. Stay where you are. Band on your chest. Push your bumper crown of your head and back. It is the world Up that has been and back. So, same as we did on the floor, but now we're standing. Get that band across your palms, chest tight. Push up that you are and down. And what felt easy, exercise number two, is suddenly feel a lot more challenging because your shoulders will be starting to blow a little bit. 30 seconds left, and then I've got some fun for you. It's actually not fun at all, if I'm honest. It's going to be painful. 
push. But again, remember, right above the crown of your head. Don't be tempted to just push forward. Above the crown of the head and back. Above the crown of the head and back. 10 seconds left. Five seconds left. Oh man, I'm just gonna shake off. Back, we're gonna pulse. We're gonna get up to the top and pulse. Let me give my shoulders a shake, off we go. Get the band up there. Little pulses right at the top. Just small pulses at the top of the range. Little pulses. This is gonna be tough. Just try and keep some small movements going. Right at the top there. Little pulses at the what top. It is. The matrix is everything. Oh, it was hot at the start. It's getting hotter. Oh, have a little shake off if you need to. That is tough. Come on, guys. 25 seconds. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, for your next, ex next and final exercises, we abandon the band. And all we're going to do is little arm circles. This is the point where if you want to, you can add some hand weights in. It's up to you. At the moment, the way I'm feeling my shoulders, I think I'm going to go without. Three, two. Oh, that was so much harder than it was. Okay, last round, literally. Arm out of shoulder height, circles. We're going to go half one way and half the other. So rolling forward. As I say, if you want to add some small hand weights into this one, feel free. Let's give it a go. Little tiny circles at shoulder height. Wow. 10 seconds and we're going to change direction. Oh. Okay, change direction. I'm going to try that for a bit without. Oh. Okay, change direction backwards. Keep it shoulder height and just small circles. 15 seconds left and you've done it. That you are a slave. Ten. Oh, right. Just have a pew if you've got one, or stay standing. All we're going to do, have a shake off. You've done it. You've done it, by the way. You've done it. Take a stretch. Arm across. Oh, your arms are probably feeling very heavy. Just stretch the back of the shoulder. Oh man, it's amazing, really. 15 sec sorry, 15 minutes is nothing. But when you combine continuous shoulder Activity movements, completed. change arms, you've completed it. Thank you. Um, it's amazing when you put 15 exercises all together for one body part. <sighs> I need to say any more, do I? We know. Okay, we'll just do one final little stretch and all that is, is take the hands behind and squeeze the shoulder blades together because your front, your anterior delts, the front of your shoulders will also be tight. Even though we've mainly worked the back and the lateral, the top, you're working the whole shoulder to be honest, so you need to, and we're all generally fairly tight across our chest, so let's keep that stretch. Well done, there you go. Give it a shake off and you've done it guys, well done. So that's it, another workout in the bag, another workout in the little repertoire. So we've got tons now of, of real time and rep counting workouts. We've got pretty much everything up there. But in terms of my more recent real time ones, um, we've got biceps and triceps, 15 minutes, back 15 minutes. Today, shoulders 15 minutes, core or abs and glutes, We've got a 25 minute up for that and we've got a half hour full lower body session which is an absolute cracker so have a go at that when you can put a few together and make your own make a full hours workout now easy um so yeah i'm gonna go get in another cold shower it seems to be the, my life at the minute is one cold shower train one cold shower and it just goes on like that okay so i will leave you there thank you for joining me remember to like and subscribe because we always say it, but we just want to get those subscribers up, trying so hard to uh, keep our consistency with our videos. So yeah, okay, see you in the next one, and thanks again. Let's start.